Kane Dorian is expected to bring dangerous levels of flooding all along the Georgia coastline. That's our, where our Ryan Kruger talked to homeowners on St. Simons Island who are preparing for the worst there. Emergency crews are already warning homeowners on St. Simons Island that the bridge to and from the island may flood and people won't be able to get on or off right after Dorian hits. The picture perfect views of St. Simons Island. They create breathtaking vacations, but Alex Binkley is hoping this won't turn into a nightmare. I said I wouldn't stay again, but now I'm changing my mind. Sunday was her 70th birthday, and she's lived her entire life in this house overlooking the water. She's been through a number of storms. Irma was the scariest. Check out the cell phone video she took during that storm. She lost her deck, but that's it. Thank goodness that's all we lost. <laughs> you know, we could have lost much more. Nothing can be built any taller than the trees. Her husband Ron showed us how close the water came to the house. It came up 18 inches right here in the entire yard. Some neighbors have already started preparing for Dorian. Workers put up plywood over the windows at the Lighthouse Museum on the island. And while the thousands of vacationers are soaking up the last few rays of sunshine, many of them will be gone by the time Dorian's impacts are felt here. But Ron and Alex will stay like they always do. Whatever happens, happens. It's God's will. And emergency officials are telling us we could start seeing impacts here on St. Simons as early as Tuesday.